<laughs> oh, what a nice, what a nice flight path. Do I prefer volume 7 or 8? 8. I like the cop stuff more. I didn't play, I didn't play too much when it came to drifting and drag racing. Alright then, let's do it. PvP, Hot Pursuit TRS. Oh, it's getting fast today. What was my TRS card? I don't even know. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Wait, does the, the cops don't get faster though, right? Doesn't that mean the racers have more of an advantage today? Right, the cop cars are the same, right? So only the racers get faster cars? That sounds weird for balance now that I think about it. Okay, so am I getting this right? When it's S-Class, the opponents, the racers just get faster cars and the cops stay the same. The problem is, I couldn't even, I couldn't even highlight, I couldn't even highlight yesterday's stream. So it's, guess, I guess it's lost in limbo. It's one of those streams where you had to be there. I wouldn't be surprised if the racers have a really easy time now on S-Class. I think it's gonna be a lot harder today to bust someone as a cop. Today might be the day of the racers. The thing is when you're too far behind, the game has a hard time rendering rendering the right position and then yeah, this shit happens. I gotta say the races in my opinion get a little bit too many advantages. Especially whenever they get nailed down, the, very often you get the chance to respawn yourself, so actually trying to bust someone is extremely difficult. Also when they miss a checkpoint they get a respawn, like they just get respawns all the time. We will slow them down, we can stop them from beating it fast, but we're probably not going to be able to bust them. Especially, they also have like this double health bar. Like, you have to put them into critical first, and then you have to hit them again for an actual bust. The only bust that I've really seen is when you have all the cops ganging up on one race, and you kind of have to do that multiple times. Dude, the NPCs are... There wasn't even an NPC. Like, it's just out of players not using their brain, man. They're hitting, they're hitting other cops instead of the racer. Yeah, I think racers are gonna have a much easier time nowadays. I mean, S is much faster than A+. And in my opinion, it was fairly easy to escape as an A car. Uh, a plus car, so... This is probably gonna be easier. Well, not probably, this is guaranteed to be easier than yesterday. But hey, at the end of the day, all I need is... I need to get another bust. So getting early to be a cop isn't even that bad. I wonder if he's clever enough to repair. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking he might miss that. Ah, man, if the handling system in this game was actually better, I think it would have so many more fans. Because I think just too many people are just completely annoyed by the handling of this game. It would be so much fun with a walking grip handling. Absolutely. Dude, even with a properly working break to drift, even that is kind of gimped nowadays. Like, I don't like, I don't like the handling, the grip handling or the drift handling in this game. You know, they managed to get this hybrid where I don't like either. I wonder, I wonder if they're gonna add some balancing touches to the, to the volume update. Gamescom was fun. It was, it was a lot of business for me. Like I had to, I had to meet a lot of potential partners and people I worked with. But I also hung out with Dustin, you know, Dustin Eden, you know him, with Lisa, and yeah, I checked out, checked out some some things. You know what's funny? Because I was I was so much on my feet, I actually felt really good about it. But yeah, I might be working with some more brands in the near future. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if you saw, I don't know if you saw the Siemens promotional material. But I rammed him and I got crashed out. Things when you respawn, you don't have any more. You have you have no more speed on your car. Can I drive up here? <laughs> Just completely baited the cop. I love it. I don't know. Am I am I teammates so bad? Oh wow! I did not see that spike. Am I teammates so bad, or why are they all busted? I just got protected by this guy. <laughs> Cutting was fun? It was, it was. Yeah, like, for example, this, the car that I have right now just has no chance. You want at least a 911. That's the bullshit, you know, that's the, that's the bullshit when you respawn and... Yeah. I think he's actually gonna get busted thanks to me. He's doing the same thing I was doing. <laughs> yes, let's go. Level up, we are at 7 out of 10. Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. Let's actually see what's the what's the rest in the cop career now. 
finish 10 playlists, bus 5 races and a skyline. Oh, we unlocked the skyline. And 3 bars of burst nitrous from a single hit with the ESF 6 times. Okay, so we need to equip ESF after this one. In case you're wondering, it's actually quite laggy from time to time. Whenever, whenever too much stuff is happening on the screen, yeah, sure, drive into the other cop and miss the race instead. Well done, buddy! Not much time left, guys, it's a week. A week until the Need for Speed Marathon. I'm already starting to prepare my stuff. Hey, where's my bonus grip? You know, that's what I, what I really hate about this, you know, yellow burst thingy. Sometimes you get the extra grip and sometimes you don't. You need to play this game a lot more often in order to get the real hang of it, where you understand, okay, this is gonna be a situation where the bonus grip is gonna kick in, there's a situation where it will not happen. Like, you wanna abuse the system, but then the system doesn't work. Off-road fucks with that. Just too many things fuck with that. Like, if your suspension lifts off a sidewalk a little bit, you know, it can already be changed. And it's just all kinds of weird. You know, that's the number one thing that I would say about this handling. It's not really predictable. Maybe it becomes somewhat predictable if you spend too much time on this game, but initially and after a reasonable, a reasonable amount of playtime, you are still not gonna get it in my opinion. And at the very least, that is my personal experience. And from what you guys, from what you guys are saying, it's not very different for you either. You know, in other games I actually have people defending the terrible handling. I don't think I've seen anyone defend the terrible handling of Unbound. But yeah, I should consider getting myself busted so I can get my my game time in the in the skyline, right? If you get busted, you get to be a cop. Ah, but you get to be in the diff in the wrong cop car, that doesn't help. It has to be in the skyline. So it actually no, this time it doesn't work. But sometimes you just have to get ESF hits or get spikes hit, that kind of stuff, then, you know, it's better to just... Oh, I also just realized I did not put in my impact protection. I was wondering why I was dying so easily. I didn't put the impact protection on my car. This is the closest they got to grip handling feeling okay. I mean, yeah, that's the closest they ever have gotten to it, but it's still not good enough. You know, it's like... It's like saying World War One was not as bad as World War Two, right? Like... Come on, man. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, saying this is the least fucked up grip handling they ever made is not a good statement. I will say this game out is fun, though. You know, regardless regardless of my feelings of the handling, um, the game out is fun. The thing is, Payback Online is dead. In 2015 is ass. So yeah, I would also rather play this. Heat still has on the modern little players, yeah? I think I think Unbound is finally doing what they always wanted, that the people switch from Heat to this game. That is true, the worst mistake they had is that the PvP was only accessible in the free roam, which nobody cared about. You had a bunch of people not playing races. Like, this made it so much better. This actually made online so much better. And it's such a, such a massive oversight. Just because they did it before, right, doesn't mean it's a good, it's a good system. So, now it has impact protection, so it shouldn't die as easily. I wonder if the Skyline is faster than the Porsche. Does anyone know? I haven't, I haven't used it yet. Because my default selection is always this shitty Crown Victoria. Man, these random grip... grip changes in this game are killing me. It, it just ruins... it just ruins the fluidity of the game, you know, it breaks. It breaks the gameplay loop because all of a sudden, you know, you get you get wrecked, and it's just it's just not fun. It's not fun when you suddenly get these stupid crit boosts and it just shoots you in the wrong direction. I mean, this was because of the flat tire. That was fine, but earlier, I was just turning and all of a sudden the car caught some extra grip and I missed the checkpoint because of it. The Corvette is a paid one. Ah, okay, so you get oh, that weapon looks sick. <laughs> The respawn speed should be much higher, and you should be invulnerable for for a second. Doesn't really much you can do here. Sadly, the races don't have anything to defend themselves, which is kind of sad. Also, I think for this game mode, it would make a little bit more sense if checkpoints were not a thing, because you need to have a little bit maneuverability against the cops. With the speed pass, you get the 959 and the cross corvette. Yes, exactly. You get the 959 for a racer as well. It's a really good car. 
you know when you respawn to the front it would have been nice if you could could even change the card there but it's so stupid like why don't they default to the best choice rather than the worst choice right it's, it's these little things that annoy me especially it remembers your car selection right it remembered it remembered that i used the skyline yeah, or just, just you know, a favorite marker, exactly, right? You say, like, how it, I want to use this car. Because, let's say you have a lot of cars, you don't necessarily want to scroll through your entire car list every time. Spawns you to far in front. It's good, though, because you need to lay down spikes very often. Actually, no, it does not remember the car choice either. You know what's, what's very noticeable to me on the fast car classes? They keep spawning into the front because the cops can't keep up. Oh, that respawn kill is bullshit. Thing is, I don't wanna, I don't wanna take the racing line because then they're just gonna cut me in the corner. An onslaught of cops. It's fun though. Otherwise, you, you know, I'm complaining about the NPCs being stupid. The thing is, when the races don't get busted, it actually gets easier for the entire team because then they're not gonna become a cop and mess around with you. So I can finally change. Yes, I did it. Do you really need that right shield on the front? If you wanna make a successful Need for Speed, just listen to the fans. You are you're shoveling your own grave if you're not listening to the fans. The Skyline's actually pretty good, I like it. Oh, big hit. If he was clever, he would actually, you know, get a respawn. Hey, three, three out of three, let's go! <laughs> Race shut down. Oh wait, there's four, I'm an idiot. There's another one. They've been, they have been trying to take down the first guy while I just took out three others. The thing is, he has to go for the checkpoints eventually. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. I always said if they remaster Most Wanted, the handling has to be exactly the same. They could try to make it better, but I think they would fuck it up. So in my opinion, they should aim to make an exact copy. And once they got that, maybe make it a little bit better. <laughs> no, they should remaster Need for Speed 2005 with the handling of Most Wanted 2012. <laughs> oh, man. That's one way to destroy a game. Oh, I see a cool golf. <laughs> Hot shot, I see it. I have to read, I have to read the rest of it, man. Kamikaze cops are kinda insane. That does a lot of damage. A fucking NPC man. I just had my Oh what a nice what a nice flight path. Yeah, since I since I got myself the impact protection, it's a lot more survivable. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> you know, I said earlier that the races have an advantage. I'm not so sure anymore. This might be this might be better better balanced than I thought. It probably depends heavily on the player's skill. Give me blood too, goddammit, man. I would I would quit streaming if you make me the lead developer for Blur 2. Should be a Microsoft IP nowadays. Yeah, if you if you are the last guy alive, you actually have seven because the races become cops. So every time a racer dies, a new cop spawns. It's gonna be it's gonna be in the fort, in the background there in the Victoria. But still, at the end, it's gonna be seven v one, and you have to survive. It's quite hard. Microsoft will do Blur Two because of the money they can throw around. Yeah, but I think they also need to have someone that can actually convince management. You always have to convince management. You have to convince management that another Blur game would be financially beneficial to the company. Right? You always have to do this. Uh, the game mode is super fun. Definitely the most fun game mode they made so far. It needs a lot of refinement though. Like these random legs happen to everyone. Dude, I hate this NPC. This NPC just blocked me off so badly. See how the lag always happens when someone gets busted? You never had legs. Interesting. Because I was I was playing around with like uh, frame rate limiters, but that didn't really make it better. Because then you know both my GPU and my CPU are chilling if I only render the game at 120. I would be surprised. I mean, if you are you playing on console, guy that said I don't have legs, you're on PC. Do you crossplay? Maybe if you only play with PC players, it doesn't happen. But I can't really do that because then I'm gonna miss out on playing with my community. Maybe you're the one that's causing the legs for the others. Which is possible in my opinion, you know, if it tries to sync and your data doesn't come through, you're not gonna lag, but everyone else is. Because the others are trying to fetch your, your data. But yeah, it's a nice amount of chaos, so I actually very much like this game mode. 
it's fun. Especially, eventually you're gonna be racing against seven cops if you make it all the way to the end and everyone else got wrecked. And it's a lot of spikes and other stuff you have to deal with. Fuck, just killed me. You know, the way balance should work. If you have the better team, you should be winning as a cop or a racer. Yeah, the thing is, I feel like I win just as much as I lose, so I guess the balance is good. Sometimes it might feel unfair, but then I'm like, dude, I win, I win, I win sometimes, I lose sometimes, so I guess the balancing is fine. You know, it's different. If you're if you're in a lobby full of skilled players, then it would be a better way to really know if the balancing is fine or not, right? But playing with randoms that is that are discovering everything for the first time. Ow. I would say balancing is fine. We will see over time how it develops. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. But there are some times where I feel like the racers have it too easy, and then there are times where I feel like the cops have it too easy, so... I think they're doing a decent job. Kamikaze cops? Yeah, but it's kinda, it's kinda necessary. It's kinda necessary as a strategy. Oh, big hit. The big hit. But at the Kamikaze cops, they do the most, really. <laughs> it's funny when all the cops try to bust a specific person because then everyone else is just getting getting away. Like, Haribo, I think, had a pretty easy time until I got busted. That is true. I die very often to kamikaze cops as a cop. Absolutely happens to me. Since you know that the racers can't fight back. Right, they don't have spikes or... What the fucking fuck, man? <laughs> the NPCs are so annoying sometimes. Got him. These respawn kills are bullshit though. That guy's probably gonna escape. See, that's what I mean, like sometimes, you know, it just works better. Oh, dude, I did not want to get that ramp. <laughs> dude, why didn't even try to block him? And sometimes if your teammates are bad, you're not gonna win. <laughs> that is what it is. Yeah, almost got the vertical takedown, although I don't think you actually do damage this way. I gotta say ESF was a lot more fun in Rivals. It's not it's not that good. Sure you do a little bit more damage. What the fuck's going on here? What? <laughs> I swear that felt like actually killing him. The only people that said they didn't get the leg spikes are Ryzen users. Interesting, another Intel issue. I swear I might need to upgrade the motherboard CPU when Ryzen comes out. If, you, if your team sucks, you are such a sh sitting duck. <laughs> you know what's funny? When you're a cop, you will run over the spikes, which will make you jump, which leads to hilarious crashes. Why? Don't. Don't! Steer into me as well, man! Some people have shit for brains, I don't believe it. I gave him so many opportunities not to drive into me. This game with Midnight Club mechanics would work a little bit better, if you ask me. The checkpoints actually covering the entire road. And I'm nearly going. What? What? I hit him from the side, what do you mean? You know, S might be a little bit more balanced. To fight back against the cops. A plus might be too slow. A is definitely too slow. I think spikes are actually quite important to shut down the races. EMP hits are actually gonna get someone busted if they're at low speed, because then the car actually stalls completely. Is it better than the other underground one? I think so. I do think so. <laughs> yeah, not having the game is gonna stop you from playing this game mode. But it is probably this is the most fun game mode they made so far for Unbound. Drag races. I mean, the, my issue was that the game mode didn't even work properly. Like, the interface did not represent the actual shifting points and that kind of stuff. Like, too many, too many mistakes. In my opinion, this is their, this is their sandbox now. Unbound has become the sandbox where they're trying out a bunch of stuff. And if they do it right, they will get to uh, put it into the next Need for Speed. With more, with more time for development too. <laughs> the robots are just too slow to chase you down. The thing is, you do need them to progress in the cop career. So there's gonna be that time where you're gonna have to play it. 
A recommendation is that you do Kamikaze Cup when you're over. Just can just attack from the front. Probably not gonna finish. Dude, Scott Lee. Did he actually control this? Like that actually slowed me down enough to not hit the finish line. Interesting. So your NPC actually stopped me. Nice autopilot. <laughs> Dude, the NPCs are so annoying. I don't know what they're doing. Like, the NPC, the, the other players are in the front, and then they turn around and block me for some reason. Like, that just now made zero sense. I, I played yesterday. Funnily enough, Twitch nuked my vote completely, so... <laughs> I gotta do all the recordings again. Oh, no. In my opinion, uh, probably the best game mode and updates they had so far. Has a few, has a few tiny issues as well, but... Definitely fun. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Getting these three bars of burst nos from a single ESF hit, that's actually not very easy to do. You need a really hard hit, probably a kamikaze hit, to make this work in first place. See, this is a full bar. If this doesn't count, I'm gonna sue EA, man. Right, this was a full bar from an ESF hit. What else do you want from me? I know it didn't count, because if it counted, it would actually show you. This is why this is so painful. The full bar from a takedown. So it can't be a takedown? That is retarded! Fucking developers test your own shit sometimes. There's always something with every update where I'm like, they didn't test this. Why didn't they test this? Takedown, so it doesn't count. Fuck you, game. Man! You need to hit them with the purple thing, it's called the electroshock field. But it can't be too hard for them to get a takedown, because if they've been taken down, it doesn't count. Uh, you have to hit them, but don't hit them too hard. Uh, it doesn't count. They probably have no one to test this. They just put it in the game and they hope it works, would be my guess. And that wasn't a full bar, right? I hit him. How, how, what is that combo? You should hit him really hard, but just not hard enough for him to wipe out. Like, what is this, what is this logic? I'm so annoyed. Actually so annoyed. Wiped out, so it doesn't count again. This is retarded. Actually stupid. In this race alone, I had two or even three takedowns that didn't count for the achievement. Taking out someone doesn't negate the challenge as long as it was hard enough. So you can take someone out and it's still not hard enough? That's even more stupid. That's even more stupid, man. What the actual shit, dude? This cha The thing is, this is not the first time they made terrible challenges. If you if you were playing that, that speed list, what was it called? I forgot. Whatever, whatever this challenge was called with the 10 races. Like, they had some really stupid challenges in there too. A light tap of an ESF can do a takedown. Yeah, that makes no sense. A takedown should always be hard enough for this challenge. And I hope they patch that to make it easier because I don't think a lot of people are gonna get past this. Did that count? Please tell me that counted. That was such a hard hit. Yes! <laughs> We got one. So I guess I'm just gonna have to be Kamikaze Cop until I get this fucking achievement, man. Guess what? Didn't count! Didn't count. Oh, it did. Do you... Man, do you think it actually has to be a takedown? It did count. It just looked... It took a while to unlock. I wonder if the legs are, like, stuff unlocking for people. Friendly fire, AI cop. That happens a lot though. The AI only Scott cut through. Pretty strong lobby here. But I think I have to get out. I have to get out and change to whatever is new. Let's see. Maybe I don't need to. Let's see what we need to do. 10 playlists, EMP in a row. What? Spike strip. Spike strip EMP. I need to do three EMPs in a row. That's gonna be interesting. Let's try that first, because that sounds that sounds like the more annoying thing to do. You don't think that's gonna be as annoying? I don't know, let's see. I'm not really sure how what they consider three EMPs in a row. Because landing three EMPs in a single race, it actually said in a row, so you probably can't fail any. Three EMPs in a race and you can't fail any. It sounds pretty it sounds pretty painful. <laughs> Okay, EMP three times in a row. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Two races. 
hit two races with a single use of spike strip. Oh god, that might that might take a while too. The races side feels like a waste of time. Yeah, especially you can get yourself busted, so you can get access to being a cop earlier to actually advance the cop career. Totally agree that the racer side feels pointless because you don't have a playlist like something you have to achieve as a racer. <laughs> no! I got so close. I got so close. Oh wait, maybe. Come on, push me to the finish line. <laughs> so close. <laughs> The like spikes good. I, I, I got I got spiked, EMP'd, and ramped by three at least three cops. So did we get anything? Oh, we did get hit two races with a single spike. Let's go. And I should probably I should probably tune the other card to not have spikes. <laughs> now it's not it's all EMP, right? EMP everything. You wrecked didn't cross the finish line. I'm not sure you can cross the finish line as a wreck. You can cross the finish line if you crash. But I don't think if you're already cra like completely wrecked, like busted. I don't think then you... Then even if your wreck goes over the finish line, it doesn't count. Not a cop anymore. Not that it really matters. But yeah, it's, it's kind of weird that you do all that you need to do on the cop side. So as a racer, you know, you're less incentivized to actually do good stuff. It's not gonna help you progress. And to be honest, you can get pretty unlucky as a racer anyways. Right, depending on the situation, sometimes you have all the cops hitting you at the beginning of the race and then you're just gonna fall really far back. And even if they bust like the other races first, then you're gonna have all the cops on you again anyways. Oh, now we got that. Now I just need to finish the rest of the playlist. Phew, that's gonna take some time though. What's the, what's the last car that you unlock? Chevy Colorado. Oh, the, the fat rhino is what he gets. Getting busted does have penalties. I think you get less money, less experience from the multiplayer session. I gotta say, whenever you play a game like this, the multiplayer though, the repetition sets in quite quickly. Like, I feel like the long term... Long term motivation might... Might disappear after a while. Yeah, sure, you can progress in single player, but... Everything else you need to do in multiplayer, so yeah, nobody cares, as you said. I guess it action is on point though. Lots of stuff happening. Over opinion on the cast handling this game, it sucks. I also would not want the Audi handling for the next game. It's not good enough. It's slightly better. That's that's all that the Audi handling is. It's slightly better. But I would not want it for the next game. Heat had an alright handling model. It was break to drift, but at least it was working. I'd say that's the most modern handling that I actually like from Need for Speed. Just re remember that Hot Pursuit didn't really need checkpoints the way it was designed. Should have had some barriers so you don't take the wrong road. I like the update. I do, I do. The thing is, you kinda... The game kinda interferes how you play the game if you actually wanna progress the cop career ladder. But you're gonna, you're gonna do stuff that you usually wouldn't. Simply because the game requires you to do it. Right now it's fine because it's like play 10, play 10 playlists, you know, that's easy. Repair kit. I'm not sure if a repair kit is the right choice. You might, you might want to take the, just take less damage overall. But I guess try out both and see which one you like better, that gives you more success. Wait, one's already busted? Holy shit. Too fast. Spikes are... Really good. If you keep teleporting yourself to the front and lay down double spikes, if all cops are doing that, and you do that on the checkpoints, then it's gonna it's gonna completely wreck the races. Pooh, that was close, <laughs> dude. That was that was really close. So many times I was one hit away from dying. Stream until I finish the career, probably. I'm so lucky. No, you're just so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it is multiplayer. I, I really hate that they put you into the Crown Vic. It's a shit car later on. No! <laughs> Stop protecting them! Body shielding cops all the time here. So, finish 15 playlists as a cop. Team bust four races in one round. Easy. Bust two races in a single playlist. Okay, that should happen over time. 
But you know, now that I've played this mode for a while, I do miss the complexity of Hot Pursuit. Right, Hot Pursuit having more than one item that you can use. I miss that. Right, the game mode is fun, but it's not as good as Hot Pursuit. Right, this is this is fun for a while, but if you want Hot Pursuit experience, you're probably gonna play Hot Pursuit Remastered instead. Right? This is my first place, fuck off. <laughs> I worked for this hard. Last can look is the cop covet. No, 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 the cop covet you get from buying. You get the 959 and you get the cross covet for buying the DLC. How much is it, by the way? Oh, yeah. You can't open. You can't open the EA app while the game is running. Still. I don't know how many years this app has been out. You, can, you still can't do this. Why would you need to? Dude, how often have you all opened up Steam while you're playing a game? Maybe you want to check the store. But I'm gonna save the next meeting. Depends on what they tell us. Like, most of my initial opinion has already been said, so... I guess it's gonna come down to... Uh, we're probably gonna give a lot of feedback for the... For all the DLC. That they made. And they're probably gonna ask us about, you know, what do we wanna see from this in future games. As I said, Council should be somewhere in the middle of September, or maybe the end of September, and then, yeah. We will see. Probably gonna do a similar video like last time. Well, the game got better with the updates. Has more game modes now. I was about to say, this must be the perfect spot for, <laughs> for Spikes. <laughs> Guys, what's your opinion? I think, I think Spikes do the most damage to slow down the races and make it hard, make the life hard, which makes sense because you can teleport to the front, you lay down your double spike in a shitty position and then the racer has to deal with it. Spikes are best 100%. Yeah, I think so too. In second, I would put ESF and I don't know, ESF and EMP is kind of similar depending on the situation, you know? Sure, you can do more ramming damage, but it's not that it's not that relevant to have more ramming damage, but landing an EMP is actually not that easy either, so they're kinda on the same level. Spikes though should be better. I <laughs> got him. <laughs> Scott, my friend! How you doing? Oh, can I jump into the finish line from up here? That would be fun. <laughs> Wait, why am I? Why do I kill? Okay, I killed him, but I also killed myself. <laughs> right? Yeah, I got two. Wait, I got one busted. Okay. I'm not sure. Wait, did I bust? I'm not sure which I busted. The first one or the last one? That was that was a quick round, man. That was a very quick round. If you think about it, if the cop rounds end quickly, you progress much faster. If you were to speedrun this, you would have to have two teams of four that, you know, are aiming for quick completions. That is uh, for sure. They definitely made the cop, cop career like they had the blacklist feature simply to keep people entertained. You know, giving them challenges as they level up, for sure. I think I did like 25 playlists or so today. Quite, a, quite many. Wait, did you actually just bust? What? How did they already bust two people? The fuck's going on, man? Someone activated a cheat code? How the hell did that happen? I've never seen two busts so quickly. The update is fun. Can't recommend it. <laughs> He's a fart. Hey everyone, out the cool. Let's go. Uh, every time I look back, man, there's a spike in front of me. Fucking physics. Hey, fellas. You know Sator is getting away if you all concentrate on me, idiots. <laughs> the guy that got Shadow Fox immediately got out. Wait, why is he waiting there? Oh no. Dude, I have no grip. <laughs> Dude, when there's bikes everywhere, you are so fucked as a racer. That is true. It is a game mode that you can enjoy regardless if you win or lose. That is 100% true. It would be nice if you could change your loadout here, in this menu. Like some quick menu action. How you guys doing by the way? How's your Sunday evening? You guys ready for the next week? He's not making that. 
some type of cutscene. Yeah, but you know, all of this stuff takes time and I would rather have them focus on the gameplay with the limited time that they have. Right, I see those, I see those, you know, cheap ending screens and I'm thinking, okay, they use their time for something more important. And that is, that is more important for me personally too. Nine events left. Nine more playlists is what we need to unlock the last car. Officially beat the cop career. So you can see there's probably 14 to 15 hours of gameplay. Not bad, GG everyone, thanks for playing. Actually, how many level how many levels are on the speed pass? Dude, I nearly made I nearly made the full speed pass in two days of streaming. Orange light wall trails. Oh yeah, get the tron effect. That's some, that's some cool stuff. I'm probably gonna buy this as well. I think I think I'll I'll skip the not safe for work post this time. You guys have been amazing. Thanks for the follows. Check out our sponsors. If you want to support the stream, you already know. Bookmark instant gaming for cheap game keys. So they always know you come from me. Mad Monk for amazing supplements and the monthly giveaway for another week. So sleep tight. Come back tomorrow for more and good night. Bye, shots.